What's up, y'all? It's your girl Sang, and you already know what time it is. It's the holidays. So, like I did for um, Halloween, I put up three videos before Halloween. Thanksgiving, I put up two videos before Thanksgiving. And what were we talking about? Should Christians be celebrating those holidays? And today, we're going to be reacting to a video from a channel titled The Truth Is, and it's titled The Dark Truth About Christmas. We have been lied to. That sounds kind of juicy. That sounds kind of juicy. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into it and see what they're talking about. The truth is, Christmas is the most anticipated and celebrated holiday of the year. A holiday that brings the family together and encourages people to give to one another. Most people also celebrate the day as a holy day, believing that this is Jesus' birthday. But what if I told you that we were being lied to our entire lives? That in reality, Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus. That the reason we celebrate Christmas is far more sinister. Join me in this episode as we uncover the dark truth about Christmas. Okay, so the only thing I know about um, Christmas in terms of like Christianity. So yes, the actual day of Christmas is not his birth, but I think somebody from the Roman period or Catholic church, I forgot who it was, but somebody just picked a random date and just attributed that to his birthday. Kind of like when like I adopted my cat, they, they know what month. They know what time period he was born in, but they have no idea the day. I just gave him a random day for a birthday. That seems like what they did with Jesus back in the day as like time moved on after his death. So um, that, that that's all I know about that. Now, all the evilness of it, we going to find out together. Many people all over the U.S. and around the world celebrate Christmas every year with the same routine. They put the Christmas tree up, they put up decorations, and lastly, they buy gifts, wrap them, and place them under the tree. Every year, millions, if not billions of people participate in the same very routine without ever asking why. Why are they doing all of this? And what is the purpose? If Christmas is about Jesus' birthday, then what does that have to do with Christmas trees, wrapping up gifts, and Santa Claus? Our Christmas traditions show no signs of honoring Jesus Christ's birthday. The reason for this is because Jesus was not born on Christmas Day. No one is 100% sure when Jesus was actually born because it doesn't say in the Bible. But some believe that biblical texts point to Jesus actually being born sometime in September, not December. Nowhere in the Bible does it say Jesus was born on Christmas Day. So why do we celebrate Christmas if it's not about Jesus' birthday? And more importantly, why did they lie to us? Well, like we see often on this channel, the truth is always far more sinister. The reason we have been lied to our entire lives is to trick us and manipulate us into participating in pagan festivals. Just like they did with Halloween, those who run this world have chosen to lie to the masses and convince them to participate in pagan traditions. Christmas is truly a pagan pagan festival called Saturnalia. And just like Christmas is to us now, it was the most important and anticipated festival of the year to the Romans. Sat so Saturnalia, <laughs> you wanna know how I learned about this? Through a cartoon called The Boondocks. So Boondocks came out when I was in high school, actually. And I believe they did their Christmas episode about this. And I believe it was from season one because I was in website class where you like learn how to make code websites and stuff and we had to create a website and mine was literally the scene <laughs> where uh riley wrote to santa. dear santa you are a wait 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 hold up hold up hold up dear santa you are a i heard the mall is hiring extra security to protect you that's a move santa I'm coming for that again until you pay what you owe. Sincerely yours, the Santa But And then in that same episode, Huey explains Saturnalia, which is a pagan holiday. Actually, Granddad, Christmas is a pagan holiday, and Jesus probably hates you for celebrating it. There ain't gonna be no Scrooges in this house, boy. Look, Granddad, it's clear from the scripture that Jesus was not born in winter. The shepherds who saw the angels announcing his birth would not have been out in their fields in December. The Palestinian winters are too cold, if you believe in that sort of thing. The truth is, Christmas evolved from the Roman holiday Saturnalia, a winter festival where men gave gifts to each other. They also would get drunk, have sex with each other, and beat their wives. People would act so crazy on Christmas, the holiday was outlawed by the Protestant church until the 1800s. This holiday 
We gonna get into it. It's wild. Saturnalia started on December 17th and lasted into December 25th. Just like we do in modern times, the Romans would shut down schools and businesses. Everything would be closed and families would get together. Families decorated their homes with wreaths and fir tree branches and filled up stockings with gifts. The Romans spent the days giving each other gifts and feasting. The entire festival was in honor of the god Saturn, who was the god of agriculture. The Romans would even make an offering and start the festival with a sacrifice to the god. Most of the traditions of Christmas we celebrate today come from this pagan festival. So how did the Romans convince the world that somehow it was a day connected to Jesus Christ? Just like we saw with Halloween and All Saints Day, when the Romans converted to Christianity and created the Roman Catholic Church, they brought with them their pagan festivals that were meant to honor their pagan gods, turning these festivals into Christian holidays, falsely proclaiming December 25th was Jesus' birthday so they may justify their pagan festival. The Romans also believed that December 25th was the birth of their sun god. Pope Julius, who was part of the Roman Catholic Church, declared Jesus was born on December 25th to be able to continue That's their pagan festivals with no one raising any question. In all reality, Christmas is just another pagan festival that has been secretly incorporated into our yearly tradition to continue to worship pagan gods. Many people to this day are still manipulated into thinking Jesus was born on Christmas and that by celebrating Christmas, they are honoring his birth. The thing is, if we look at Christmas, not much of it centers around praising Jesus. None of the things we do to celebrate Christmas are told to us in the Bible. In fact, we can see that even the date Christmas was picked has nothing to do with Christ's birthday. The date was picked so that the world would blindly follow a pagan tradition to be able to intertwine a pagan festival ritual with Christianity. When people celebrate Christmas today, Santa is more worshipped than Jesus. Nicholas, who was made a saint by the Roman Catholic Church, looks nothing like Santa Claus. In my opinion, the reason for this, Santa Claus is supposed to represent the god of Saturn, as the Romans pictured him. Many old photos of Santa show him looking nothing as he looks now. Some old Santa photos even appearing frightful. The modern day Santa we know comes from a drawing made by the Coca-Cola company in 1931. They wanted to brighten Santa's image and make him a symbol of happiness, depicting him as a happy old man with a large white beard dressed in red and white. They created this version of Santa to promote their Coke products, to encourage more people to drink Coke through the holidays, and eventually the world adopted the image and it became the modern Santa Claus, who instead of only selling Coke products, now markets and sell all products. They use Santa Claus to encourage more holiday spending. Christmas today has little to do with honoring Jesus. It has become a day of materialism where people trade expensive gifts between each other in order to try and impress one another. The corporations that run our world have used Christmas to make billions as they know people would get themselves in debt to prepare themselves for the holidays. I do agree with that. As we just saw recently with Thanksgiving, um, between Thanksgiving and Black Friday in two days, in two days, uh, Americans, I don't know about the rest of the world. I don't know if the figure includes the rest of the world, but I know because we celebrate here in America. $14 billion was spent on those two days of people just shopping, which is wild. Uh, $5 billion was spent on Thanksgiving and $9 billion was spent on Black Friday. It's gross. It's gross. The over-commercialization. We talked about this in the Thanksgiving videos, though. They, everything used to be about family and being together, and now it's just, oh, we're going to go out and buy stuff and fight people for things. That's, it's crazy. It's crazy, and it's disgusting. And it's the same thing for Christmas. People will literally go into debt to buy gifts for people, and that's not the purpose. Like, that's not the purpose of Christmas at all. It, we're at the point now where people, because they don't want to be embarrassed. That's really what it's come down to socially. You don't want to be embarrassed if you can't get stuff for people. So now what do we have? We have Afterpay, Klarna, those type of companies become very big, right? So if you have stocks in those companies as well as stocks and credit cards, yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> like, uh, just get financial for a minute. You're doing wonderful. You're making tons of money. Those stocks are always going to go up because the thing that sells to people that's always going to sell uh, drugs and alcohol. So if you have the alcohol stocks, that's always going to sell. And uh, strip clubs. Strip clubs are always going to make money when, no matter how uh, financially sane the economy is or whatever, it's if everybody's down and out, the porn and all that, if you have strip clubs, you're just going to make money regardless. Like Those are things that people are always going to channel their money into. Oh, and gambling. Gambling too. So it's... It's all messed up. It's all messed up. You're supposed to be 
with family and going to church and reading your Bible. That's what it should be. That's what it should be. But we know it's not. We know it's Many not. people see Christmas as a day that they get gifts, drink, spend time with family, and have a good time. Even though many people think it's a day about Jesus, nothing is truly done to honor him. I am not telling any of you to not celebrate Christmas as this is not my point in making this video. I simply want to make sure you guys know the truth and know that we have been lied to. Christmas is a pagan festival that we have turned into a day of gifts, fun, and family time. But it's not Jesus' birthday, nor in any way is it honoring him by being celebrated. I am not judging anyone who celebrates Christmas, as I understand we have been manipulated since children to blindly participate in this holiday. But now that you know the truth, you may want to choose to celebrate Christmas differently if you truly want to use the day as a holy day that honors Jesus. In my opinion, some of Christmas traditions aren't all bad. Spending time with family and giving to one another is great. But we must remember, if we're celebrating Christmas to honor Jesus, then it shouldn't be all about gifts and decorations. It should be a day of honoring Him and loving one another, thanking God for everything we have. As we participate in these holidays, we must remember that we cannot believe everything we are told. We must research and seek the truth before blindly participating. They want us to blindly follow their traditions and manipulate us into participating in their pagan traditions. We must not allow them to guide us off our intended path. We must remember to help those who can't see the truth, find the truth. Facts, facts. Wonderful video, my man. I like that a lot. Um, how do you guys feel about it? Like he said at the end there, there are aspects of it I like, which is what I said. Like, I like the spending time with family, reading your Bible. Um, a lot of what, what the video I did on Sunday was Advent. They said this is the Advent season. That girl was talking about don't, um, giving your time to charity, helping out in soup kitchens, things of that nature. I like all of that. I agree with all of that. I ended up giving like two big bags of toys to my local church, uh, the one that I go to. They they accepted it. They loved it. I'm, I'm also, so with Nikki, I'm sending out, I didn't realize I had these many clothes, to be honest with you, to send out to that homeless shelter. It's, it's like literally two big boxes have got shipped out. Because I didn't realize I had that much stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, it's just going to be a little box. And then once I got the folding, and you know how sweaters be thick. Two big boxes, like two huge, like moving boxes. So they they about to get a lot. I like doing stuff like that. I would implore you guys to use your time. To go. Don't be going in debt trying to impress people. Don't be fighting because your kid wants all the latest new toys or whatever, and, and your wife and husband or boyfriend and girlfriend, like, I want this, I want this. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. I had, there was one year where I had bought stuff for my family, and they were very unappreciative, and I purposely didn't buy them things for, like, the next two or three Christmases. Because it's like, how you going to trip over stuff I got you? I used my hard-earned money. You know, back in the day, people be complaining now. They'd be like, $15 an hour. That's not enough to live. Yo, back in the day, you would be making like six, seven, eight an hour, and that was normal, right? So imagine you getting that, you working hard, and you think about putting your whole check to just giving to other people, and they don't appreciate that. Yeah, they didn't get stuff from me for like the next couple Christmases. And once that happened, they was like, we get it. We sorry. <laughs> They started appreciating stuff after that, but yeah, you gotta know how to use this time of year correctly. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss when I drop a video. And until next time, you already know who it is. It's Sang. <laughs>